Hi everybody, I'm back after uh, not having put up a video for a month. For those of you who might have followed previous videos to this will be aware that I had quite a lot of technical problems and I've been trying to improve the system so I'm back and experimenting with it to see how we go. Now I'm going to take you with a on me in, on a journey. Ta I'm taking you I swear I'm not drunk. Okay, I'm trying to say I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey with me today because I'm going to do some free painting and printing on this piece of textile I've got laid out here and I really don't know where it's going to go or how successful it's going to be and it might end up being a complete disaster. I don't know. We shall, we shall go on the journey and find out where we end up. So laid out before you, I have a, uh, it's going to be, it's a top. It's one of my PDF patterns. I'll put it in the uh, information box of the video. The pattern is called the Grecian Tunic. I may end up making it into a dress by extending the length of it, but at this point I've cut out the tunic pattern. And I've sewed some fibre over it. Uh, in a technique that I showed you in some earlier video, videos uh, just to add some texture in there. So this is the Grecian tunic front and back and they're kind of joined together at the side seam at the moment. As I'm going to be painting on here I can only do it on one layer or it'll go right through so I'm going to have to separate that part over there which is going to the back because I'm going to work on the front so that I just have the front sitting there. Now I've selected a whole lot of stuff to play with. Uh, you can't see the sides of my work table here but I've got paints over here, pink, orange, magenta tones and over here I've got various stencils uh, my palette plate to put paint on and I'm just going to literally uh, grab a brush and start whacking some textile paint on here. Now I'm going to go change the focus in a little so that you can see more clearly how I'm going to approach this. Here we go. Now here I've got one of these favorite colors of mine standard favorite the fluoro yellow okay I'm just literally dunking the brush in the pot and painting it onto the fabric now this lovely orange is a uh, linen it's a pure linen and it's a it's been a duna cover or if you're American you'd understand it as a quilt cover it's a quilt cover that I've salvaged from the waste stream from a thrift shop for a few dollars and I'm using the top layer of the doona. It's in pretty good condition. There's a few little marks and stains on it but they're going to be easily disguised as we work through here and alter the fabric. Just swapping over to uh, a larger brush here so that I can cover that section there more quickly. And I'm working pretty crudely, not worrying about getting per perfect coverage here. Now I can't keep talking all the time because I'm not a really great multitasker so I have to apologize that you may ha have quite a few spaces where it's just going to be me and the brush and the stencil and the paint and not much talking. Okay, going down here now to 
the skirt part. I'll come back into frame in a moment. I'm just applying a line of paint following that piece of fibre there. So as I said, I'm working completely intuitively here. I only have the very loosest concept for what I'm doing here, which is going to be to apply some colour on the surface and print over it uh, using some stencils or uh, some of my texture boards, perhaps. I'll just wing it. Okay, so I'm quite liking this line we will take it a bit further feeling rather stressed today. About 24 hours ago I was uh, Pinterest notified me and informed me that they're about to revoke my verified merchant status uh, which means that my shop won't show up on my uh, Pinterest account and that is very disappointing to me then they said they had decided to uh, revoke my merchant status and close my shop on their site because of excessive complaints, which was really super distressing. And that was compounded by the fact that when I contacted support to find out what the basis of the complaints was, obviously in the hope that I can fix it, they told me they weren't going to tell me. They're not telling me what the complaints were, what it was about. They are just going to close my merchant shop. Uh, yes, yeah, really frustrating to feel so powerless. There's nothing I can do. I have nearly um, 13,000 followers on Pinterest and it was my best selling platform and I am only minuscule my income from pattern sales and uh, beaded jewellery is less than a hundred dollars a week but I am expecting once my shop is closed at the end of this month that it's going to impact me quite a lot that it, I might lose perhaps potentially 50% of my sales <sighs> and it's really disturbing that I'm not being given due process to be, to be allowed to review whatever the problem is really disturbing okay so I've just moved to the back now this uh, because I'm using this paint really dry straight out of the pot and it's a really hot day here in Murrundi, Australia, uh, there's not the paint, paint's drying really quickly. It's not re being applied very wetly at all. Okay, covering that shape on the shoulder there. That little tab where I'm applying the paint right now is the uh, shoulder seam. And I think I'll just do this last little triangle here. 
Right, and back down here, and because I really liked doing that line, I took it right down to where it ran off to at the hem, but I'm going to pick up the line here again and bring it across the back. Okay, I'm thinking that's going to be fine for the yellow. I put it over there. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's quite interesting. I'm happy with that. Alrighty, now I'm going to open up this pot of orange. And same thing again, except uh, this big brush isn't going to fit into the, lit, the opening of that jar, so I'm going to have to put some paint on the tray. There we go, loading the brush, and here we go. Orange. Sorry, I may have just dropped out there for a moment. I, the, my screen went black. Um, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, it's a very hot day in my run uh, And sometimes the stress on the power grid with people running uh, air conditioning <laughs> causes, causes the system to get overloaded and power cuts are pretty common. Okay, now I've started down here with that line, that yellow line that was following that piece of fibre and I'm uh, yeah, following that now making another line, the orange below the yellow. As I said, it's because I'm using this uh, fairly, not, not very overly wet paint and it's a very hot day and I'm painting it onto dry cloth 
that I can get away with doing this and throwing the fabric around like that if it was a cooler day and the paint wasn't uh, drying out so quickly. I wouldn't be able to flick the fabric around it like that on top of itself without getting unwanted colours and marks in places I don't want them. So I'm kind of taking advantage of the heat of the day here. Okay, moving on to the back now. I've done those marks on the front. Top of the back bodice. Ooh, okay. This This is the other shoulder seam up here. Mighty. Okay, that's it for orange, I think. So, uh, I'm just going to wash out my brush over here. My uh, basin. And scrape the paint, the excess paint here, back into the pot. Okay, now <laughs> I'm just going to go like, what's next? <laughs> because I'm not sure. Okay, have a peek. See, there's a mark there where I flipped the, the fabric over onto the wet paint. But, you know. Am I one to be stressed about a bit of paint on my fabric? Nah, I'm not. And this is how oh, I'm going to obscure it. This is one of my pressure plates. Uh, these are little things stuck on here, little bits of uh, rubber off a yoga mat. And I've just stuck them onto the board with uh, silicon. Okay, so there we go. Now we need a roller, a rubber roller. Where are we? Searching, searching the great messy space. Here we go. Thank good. This one's also a little bit wet because I was using it a few minutes ago. Spot be gone by adding more. Okay. 
going back to the orange paint that I just tidied up and I'm going to put a, another area of those spots up here on the bodice I'm sure some of you who might be considerably more particular about how you work are cowering in horror <laughs> at my uh, extreme looseness in the way I work. Not always quite this uh, casual, but you know, I'm not one to be overly concerned about uh, very control controlled processes. Okay, it's looking okay. Now I've got the spots up there on the bodice. I've got some spots down here near the hem on the side. So I need to keep that uh, mark consistent somewhere on the back. Okay, here we go. And rollering some spots onto that yellow. Yeah, I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of rage working at the moment because of my <laughs> anxiety about what Pinterest have done to me. It really feels like bullying. Uh, you know, we're closing your shop down because. Uh, somebody's told us there is a problem with your shop or your product, but we're not telling you what it is, so you're not going to get the opportunity to fix it. We're just going to shut you down. That is really pretty nasty behaviour, I think. It is not, uh, not fair. It's very unfair, and I hate unfairness. I find it quite distressing. Okay, well, gee, we have really moved on. I think I've been doing this video for about 10 or 12 minutes now. Yeah, not really sure, to tell the truth. Yeah, so moving along. Another colour. How about this fabby fluorescent pink? Yeah, num num. Okay. Num num. Pink. Where's my brush? Lost in the melee. Oh, I don't like that brush, it's too soft. Here's another one. Okay. Let's get a really big brush now. And because I can't find another one. Woohoo! Look at that. <laughs> Now I really am going a bit nuts. Okay. I'm imagining the faces of the Pinterest staff under my brush and I'm smearing them with paint. You bullies, take that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they really care. They do not care at all. I am insignificant. You know, a couple of years ago they gave somebody verified merchant status who was stealing my designs, who was, had taken my own photographs 
of unique one-of-a-kind pieces I'd made and put them in their shop and sold them all over the world to tens of thousands of people. And Pinterest were supporting these people to advertise on their platform and they ignored all of my uh, uh, requests to please stop infringing my copyright and to remove the pictures. They ignored those. They didn't care. They made their money. And that's what they're about. Okay. So, wow, there we go. We really are getting a lot of coverage here. A lot of stuff is getting covered. Okay. Now, I really should have cleaned that brush. It had so much orange paint in it already. It really didn't come up very pink over there. Okay, to the back. Pink on the back. Yep. Big, big section up the top. Alright, now I'm just going to do maybe a little touch of stenciling and I'll stop the video after that. I'll probably keep on working, but I just think it must be getting really boring just watching me whack pa paint about wildly. <laughs> yep, really boring. Okay, so let us go back to the front. Alrighty. Yeehaw. Right, Ski. Well, I've got a whole lot of stuff over here. I've got this commercial stencil here. Thinking about that. Okay. Put my pink fit away. That was great stuff, wasn't it? Fluoro pink. Okay, now. My last colour is going to be the darkest colour. It's going to be fluoro violet. That's I'm going to tackle a little bit of stenciling with I think. I think I don't think I'll use that. It's probably a little bit formal uh, to try to integrate it with my very um, abstract work there. Uh, Anyway, sounds a good idea, doesn't it? Okay. Now, I'm going to stop the video now because I think I have bored you for long enough, but you'll be getting more updates how this piece is going over the next day or two.